Good evening. Uh, I'm Andrew Zinzi, and I'm working for the uh, ASI Science Data Center. We are developing uh, Matisse, a web tool to access and visualize planetary exploration data. Um, to access Matisse, uh, you can go to the ASDC uh, website and click uh, on the uh, logo, or you can type the URL to, uh, to the tool. However, the tool is uh, um, available only after re re uh, registration. Uh, so, uh, the main goal of Matisse is to give the uh, planetological community a tool to access data um, without uh, looking for data on FTPs, uh, without uh, the need to download a huge quantity of data, and uh, without the need uh, of writing software to read that data. Matisse is multi-platform because it's web-based web and therefore no software is needed. It's modular and uh, new targets and new tasks can be added uh, um, when needed. Uh, searchable because uh, as a searchable database uh, for geographic and geometric uh, uh, metadata and uh, allows data fusion with high order products uh, such as uh, mosaics, uh, uh, ratios uh, or false color visualizations. Uh, at the present time we are at version 1.0, the first stable version with the, the different user privileges so we have both public and proprietary data with a searchable database, uh, with different uh, mission and targets, the possibility of uh, uh, compute high order products uh, and uh, uh, multiple uh, visualization. Uh, 2D projection, uh, interactive shape model on the web and uh, downloadable high resolution uh, output uh, uh, to be read with Paraview. At the present day, Matisse has three missions, Rosetta, Dawn, and Chang'e-1, the, the first uh, uh, Chinese probe to the, to the moon. Four targets, Lutitia, Churino, Grasimenko, Vesta, and the moon, and seven instruments uh, from the mission uh, uh, described uh, before. This is the homepage of Matisse. Here you can uh, uh, perform the geographic geometric uh, uh, search and uh, you have uh, these as a output, as a query uh, results. Clicking on next, uh, you can activate uh, the multi-observation mode, so you can compute uh, higher order products, uh, and uh, clicking on submit, uh, uh, the pipeline start. This is the flowchart of Matisse, uh, that is different from uh, uh, surface and non-surface data. Uh, at the present time, we have uh, uh, some J uh, JADA simulations uh, from Rosetta as non-surface data. And uh, uh, the first part of the pipeline is very customizable, and therefore we can add uh, other instruments, of course. This is the output page with the, the uh, 3D interactive shape model uh, that can be clicked, zoomed, uh, uh, and so on. The, B-dimensional projected maps uh, and the possibility of uh, download data. Uh, this is the output for the Jada Rosetta simulated data. Uh, we choose to have uh, points scattered all around the comet, all around the um, the Jada orbit. Uh, this is, these are si simulations, so not uh, real data. And uh, uh, the possibility of high resolution visualization, we use Paraview as uh, uh, Planet Tech colleagues uh, uh, also. And uh, this offline visualization uh, allows uh, the possibility of very high resolution uh, if compared to the web uh, visualization. For example, we have the uh, shape model of the comet Churimo uh, Gerasimenko with 5 million points. Um, Apart from Matisse, we developed uh, a Python script that uh, we are planning to distribute as a, an executable uh, in, in, uh, in some months. This is a standalone Python script to build high-resolution Paraview files. 
It is included in Matisse to create uh, Paraview files, but uh, it is also a standalone uh, a script. And um, it is uh, customizable uh, to create uh, uh, visualization not included in Matisse, such as uh, maps uh, of, um, of, um, of parameters. Uh, for example, this is um, a, visual, uh, a, a visualization of Vesta uh, with a very high resolution uh, two layers because uh, we have the albedo that is from the camera of Dawn and, um, and some weird drag parameters. Uh, also, Virtus Rosetta Spectrum Slopes, this uh, has been created with Paraview. And uh, okay, this has been published uh, on Science. Uh, organic maps. And uh, now, back to uh, Matisse, uh, we have the moon. So, uh, the Chinese probe Chang'e 1 mapped the moon and uh, derived uh, um, a digital elevation model, orthophotos, uh, in 187 uh, uh, quadrangles, and also uh, low resolution elemental abundance maps. Um, now, all these data are ingested uh, by Matisse, uh, thanks to a collaboration between Italy and China uh, uh, named the uh, Moon Mapping Project. And uh, this is uh, uh, an output, this is a digital elevation map uh, um, viewed with Paraview and created with Matisse. This is an orthophoto. Uh, that is interpolated because the um, original um, resolution of the orthophoto is 250 uh, pixels per degree, uh, whereas the um, dam has, uh, the corresponding dam has 60 pixels per degree. So we interpolated the orthophoto to the uh, dam resolution. And this is a zoom, and uh, we created the triangulation uh, from the uh, dam on the fly so directly on uh, by Matisse. In the future, we want to, uh, to change uh, the database uh, survey Matisse. Now we have a uh, MySQL database, but uh, uh, we are planning to switch to a Postgres uh, one that is better for uh, geospatial information. Uh, Non-surface measurements, uh, we are uh, studying a method to uh, show the comma. And uh, we are planning Matisse 2.0 with the synchronous uh, and session ID target processes. So uh, th there is no need to wait uh, at the PC the, the ending of the process. Uh, the error management could be best handled. And uh, the processes can be speed up uh, mm, thanks to the reuse of uh, already computed outputs. Uh, as I already stated, we are also developing a desktop software based on the vtpmaker.py. Uh, so, uh, different data types can be visualized uh, not only uh, using Matisse and the data in the database of Matisse. In conclusion, after two years of work, Matisse is at a stable version, but we are working to improve it and uh, manages several data types. Uh, so we can work with other mission. If you want to collaborate, we are open. Uh, also for mission targets and new functionalities uh, that you can suggest us. Uh, thank you for the attention. Uh, tomorrow um, I will uh, perform the demo of Matisse uh, in the um, uh, track B. So uh, if you want uh, to stay, uh, I will uh, appreciate. Uh, thank you.